Welcome to Next Level Intel. I hope you guys are enjoying this free, quick hit, high value course that we're bringing you. Without further ado, let's look at formatting within Microsoft Excel. I've got the data table open on my desktop that we've been exploring. Today, I'm gonna convert this table to a range, and we're gonna actually work within a range for the coming up sessions. And so first, I wanna show you a couple things real quickly within a table that I think provide value. If you go up to the Design tab, it's the special tab that you get once your cursor is clicked anywhere on the table. Go up to the Design tab. We're gonna unclick the total row. I'm gonna go down to cell A15. I'm gonna type in the number 14 for the next product ID, hit enter, and 15. And you'll see that two rows were just added to my data table. It's something that is automatically done with the Microsoft Excel when you type data into that last row. Now, real quick, I'm gonna zoom out. I'm actually gonna hold down control on my keyboard and scroll back with the wheel on my mouse. I'm gonna go over to the bottom right corner of the data table. You'll see these two arrows pop up, click and hold, drag to the right, and you'll see that you can add columns that way as well. I wanted to show you those two things real quick. I'm not gonna get into formatting a data table, but I am gonna get into formatting a range. So I'm just hitting Control Z now and backing up. So before we convert this to a range, I need to click within the data table. I'm gonna go up to the Design tab. I'm actually gonna go over to the Tools grouping within the ribbon, and you'll see an option for Convert to Range. Go down and it says, do you want to convert the table to a normal range? I'm gonna click Yes. And now, although this looks like a data table, because of the formatting, this is not a table table anymore. This is just a range. And so if I go down to cell A15, and I type in the number 14, you'll see that nothing came down with it, because it is now a range. And so so I'm gonna hit Control Z and get rid of that. What can be kind of confusing that some of these cells are formulas and some of them are not. And so I wanna use some formatting within this range to tell me where I should be typing data and where I should not be typing data. Now you can do all this with a data table, but I wanted to transition and make this into a range because we're not always dealing with data tables. And so I like to actually change some of the formatting when I have formulas within a table or a range, wherever they might be. I'm gonna click in K2, I'm gonna hold and drag down and just highlight the range K2 through N14. I'm gonna go up to the Home tab, and in the font grouping, I'm actually gonna click on this letter A, and you'll see I can choose a font color. My personal preference is just to have formulas be blue, and so I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna click in A1, hold the Control Shift key, hit the right Right arrow, hit the down arrow. Now that my table is highlighted, I'm gonna go up to the fill color option within the font grouping, hit the drop down box, I'm gonna say no fill. Now you'll see that I lost my headers, that's just because the text within the header is white. So I'm gonna click in cell A1, hold the control shift key, hit the right arrow. I'm gonna go back up to that fill color and I'm gonna select black. You'll see just normal options, you can italicize, you can underline, you got a drop down here, you can double underline. You've also got some border options and you can get kind of fancy with this. And so also, instead of just clicking on a certain font size, you can just click and automatically start increasing things here. But I think that's good. There's also arrows at the bottom right hand corner that you can click on and get some more options. You can really go into detail on what kind of font, fill, borders, however you wanna style your spreadsheet. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I just wanna let you know that that's an option. We click cancel. Now in the next tutorial, I'm not going to be adding any data to this table, but I am going to be putting some formulas in. So I'm gonna click in H2, hold and drag down to cell H14. I'm gonna go up to that fill option and you'll see a more colors option down here. We're gonna click on that. Again, this is just another self-preference. When I have data that I know needs manual input and manual entry, I like to put a fill color on it, and I really like the color yellow for this, so I'm gonna click OK. So now I can actually start adding formulas like a VLOOKUP to pull in that unit cost, pull in that price list. So in the next session, we're gonna create a sheet specifically for a price list to do just that. Now, if you're watching this, if you're getting value in it, please share this video. We'd really, really appreciate it. It. This is Next Level Intel. Happy learning and God bless my friends.